All right, everybody, we're going to be working on uh, a pretty simple, uh, popular song by Dave Matthews Band. Um, Gray Street's pretty straightforward. The, I mean, the intro and the verse are the same, and then there's just a chorus. There's no bridge to it or anything. There's really just those two main parts. So should get through this one pretty quickly today. Um, it's the very, well, I always call them, you know, the standard Dave Matthews chords that he always uses in a lot of his songs. Um, so <clears throat> we've done, you know, I've done the tutorial for Trippin' Billy Isn't Too Much and Broken Things. Um, and, you know, those songs use the, you know, the... And uh, it's pretty cool how many different ways Dave Matthews can, can figure out um, how to use these, uh, these different, all these different chords and make the song sound quite a bit different from one another. Um, and Gray Street's pretty cool because there's just some uh, some strumming things on this one that I'll explain to you um, that can get kind of tricky within this song. So um, <clears throat> we're starting out on um, on all these chords right here. We're going to be starting out on the, or we're going to be on the uh, E string and the G string down here. Okay, and I'm going to explain it again in case you haven't seen any of my other videos that I've explained these different chords that he uses. I want you to use all four of your fingers. We don't want to be going. We don't want to do that. So many people do that, it makes it sound choppy and it doesn't, it doesn't end up sounding right. So what we want to do is a ring finger and pinky on the A or the E and the G strings here on the seventh fret. And then we're gonna come down to the uh, third fret and the fourth fret still on the A and G. Then we're going to come back up, uh, or come up here to the 5th and the 6th. And then we're going to come down here to the 2nd and the 2nd. And repeat that. So. And then after you do that, before we go back up to the 7th again, you're going to have a quick little hit right here on the third and the fourth on the E and G. So. So now I'm gonna explain the strumming because that's really the most confusing part about uh, this, this part of the, or this part of the song. Um, so it's down, is how it, you're gonna strum that first one. You're going to go down again when you come here, but I'm going to go up. It's going to be an upstroke here. And then back down again. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. And there's a little bit of a mute after that first one, after that first hit. You're not, you're not going, it's not going straight into it. You're going, There's a little note in between there and here also right before you go go back when you do that twice you go a little bit of a pause in there okay then we're gonna come down here and just do a straightforward little B chord here We're going to come into an A chord right here. Be doing a D. And we're going to switch up this G just a little bit. We're only going to be on the high E and the low E on that third fret, okay? Nothing else is on there. I just have my pinky there, my middle finger here. Gives it that really full sound. So leading into that chorus, uh, real quick, um, uh, right before he gets into "There's a loneliness inside her," you're playing this, and then 
you're going here, and then you're going into that B chord, okay? So. That's when it goes in right there, okay? Now when you're playing this, um, uh, you're gonna say, um, there's a loneliness inside her, she'd do anything, or there's a loneliness inside her, and she'd do anything to fill it in. And though it's, and so, so he draws it out on, on that first, the first time he goes into the chorus, um, he just says, and all the colors mix together to gray. So you're only going, you'll go through this once, B, A, D, G, and then you'll just go B, A. Each other, every other time that he does that chorus, he goes through it a couple times, but you're always going to end on that A chord, okay? So it's always going to be... No matter how many different things he sings before that, how many times he goes through this, he always ends on the colors mixed together to gray. Okay, and then the uh, the actual song. Um, sorry, my camera was messing up there. Um, the actual song when they're just jamming there at the end, um, when you know Boyd has his violin part. Um, and then Leroy goes into the, the whole sax solo there at the end. Dave's still just doing this the whole time. Okay, and that's typically where they end. It's going to end on that note right there. Um, so like I said, very straightforward, pretty, pretty simple, a pretty simple song. There's just a few little strumming things there. Um, there on the verse that you need to pay attention to, some downstrokes and some upstrokes and things like that. Um, so that's Gray Street for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks.